Hello, you are welcome. Given that y equals to cos x over 1 plus sine x, here we want to find the y dx. Here, from what is given, which is y equals to cos x over 1 plus sine x. Here, from here, this follows from when we have y equals to u over v. So, here, u same thing as cos x so we let u here be equal to cos x and uh, here v equals to 1 plus sine x then from here when we have quotient form like this the derivative of y with respect to x which is the y dx from the formula we give us v du dx minus u dv dx then over v square and when we apply this here we already know our v and our u now let's find du dx so differentiate u with respect to x derivative of cos x is minus sine x and we have dv dx here so here derivative of 1 here is 0 derivative of sine x here is cos x then when we substitute what we have now so dy dx from here we have our dy dx we now be equals to v that's 1 plus sine x then times du du dx there is minus sine x then minus u and u here is cos x so minus cos x then times dv dx there is also cos x then over v square and v square here is v is 1 plus sine x that's 1 plus sine x or square then now we can simplify further from here so when minus sine x open this so dy dx here will give us minus this will be minus sine x then plus minus here minus sine x multiply sine x that's minus sine square x then here we have minus here cos square x then this multiply then divided by <coughs> what we have here which is 1 plus sine x all square then next from here <coughs> we have minus n square x minus cos square x we can factor minus out and this will now be written as dy dx here equals to minus sine x then minus into bracket sine square x plus cos square x from here then divided by what we have under here which is 1 plus sine x all square and what's in the bracket here same thing as 1 because we have sine square x plus cos square x in trigonometry that's same thing as 1 so it implies that everything here we can replace it as 1 and the uh, dy dx now from here will be the same thing as we have minus sine x then minus 1 now which is divided by 1 plus sine x or square and what we have here we can rewrite it as 
now we factor minus out so dy dx now will be equal to minus into bracket sine x plus 1 which is same thing as 1 plus sine x then over here we have 1 plus sine x or square then what we have inside this bracket we have same thing then this 1 plus sine x we cancel one of this then that means dy dx from here we then give us dy dx now equals to here minus 1 is left off so we have minus 1 divided by here we have 1 plus sine x left in the denominator so therefore the differential coefficient of the function given is minus 1 over 1 plus sine x so thank you for watching don't forget these steps and subscribe to my channel also turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and uh, put your comment in the comment section and thank you see you in the next class and bye for now